with your weekly tarot astrology horoscope forecast. I know it's a day late, but that's fine. I figure better late than ever. So this is for the week of April 3rd to 9th of 2017, and I'm going to be using the Chrysalis Tarot um, for the uh, tarot scope, and then um, for our oracle card for the week, I am using um, the Sakoli Oracle. Something about spring and creepy children. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So I've shuffled already. As always, we will start with Aries. So Aries, we have the Ten of Mirrors. What a beautiful card. So Aries, this is going to be a week that is going to be very fulfilling for you on an emotional level. It's really going to be time, a celebration, and joy, getting together with people that you love. Um, it's going to be a wonderful week. I know in Northern Hemisphere, it's spring here. I know Southern Hemisphere obviously is not, but I know around here it just seems like where I live anyway, it's uh, when things melt after months of snow, everybody just starts coming out of their houses and doing things and going out. And I see this as definitely a time where you're going to be going out and enjoying things with people um, and getting together with the people that you love. So it's going to be a very emotionally fulfilling week as well for, for Aries. Um, for Taurus, we have the Nine of Mirrors. So wish coming through for true for Taurus. Um, and you know, this bears out with the astrology for the week where, you know, there's a lot of energies in Aries and Taurus this week and Pisces as well. So a lot of energies for those signs going on. Um, there is a wish coming true for you, Taurus, especially if you're working hard for something, you're going to start to see the results of this this week. For Gemini, we have the Eight of Scrolls. So Gemini, this is really a week where you're going to be downloading a lot of information. I really see you being inspired by things, um, very much feeling like your intuition is a lot stronger, especially if you've been having a bit of a dry spell over the past few months. Um, that's going to start to clear up this week. And then um, for um, Cancer, we have the Seven of Scrolls. So you're gonna be faced with some choices this week, Cancer. Um, you know, you're gonna have to really use your intuition and the information av available to you because there is a little bit of, I don't know if it's directly deception, but it's not all the information's being given to you, but you're still having to make a choice. So you really need to kind of go with what, what your gut instinct is kind of saying to you about what you need to do with those choices. Um, we've got the Page of Stones or the Acrobat for Leo. So definitely be flexible this week, Leo. Um, there's going to be some changes going on around you. And you're not supposed to like finish everything or get everything done this week. Um, you're still learning things and that's okay. But you need to be flexible and not so rigid about stuff. For Virgo, we have the Nine of Scrolls. So it's saying don't despair, Virgo. Uh, you know, it may feel like right now there's so much going on and you're exhausted and tired and you may even gone through a loss of some kind, but it's saying that not all is lost. There is still something that can be gained from the loss, from what's been going on. For Libra, we have the Four of Spirals. Um, so Libra, this is just going to be a homey kind of week. You're not really going to be going out a lot, as opposed to Aries, who's really going to be going out there and getting things going. You just really need to kind of hunker down and be at home um, and to take care of yourself for the next while and get lots of rest too. Catch up on sleep this week. Um, Scorpio, we have the Star or LP. So great news coming for you, Scorpio. Very hopeful this week. I see some really good things coming for you as far as like there's good news. There's hope for something. There's something you've been wishing and planning for that you're getting some really good news about. And you're feeling a lot more um, a lot more um, optimistic is the word I'm looking for. Also, I'm really getting a strong message with this to pay attention to your dreams, not just the dreams at night, definitely listen to those and write those down, but also kind of what you're daydreaming and fantasizing about because those have messages for you too. Sagittarius, we have the Ace of Scrolls. So taking on new things this week, Sagittarius, if you're taking on a new course study or a new job, this is a really great time for that. Um, and it shows your intuition is gonna be super strong this week as well. Pay attention to those insights. For Cancer, we have the Five of Scrolls. So Cancer, it may feel like right now, um, you know, things are not going the way, or Capricorn, pardon me, way that you want them to. That, you know, just like this knife in here, like your plans have all been kind of stabbed in the middle. Um, it's asking you to reassess, especially because we are moving into um, a retrograde with uh, Mercury at the end of this week and Venus is retro. There's a lot of retrogrades going on. So it's really asking you just to review your plans and see whether or not these things are holding up and what you can do to make them better. 
Aquarius, we have the Four of Scrolls, another card that means to rest. Um, unlike Libra, which is more about just kind of staying home and being cozy, this says you really need to rest and take a break um, and literally sleep because if you don't, you may get sick. So Aquarius, this is a time to rest and to really just be at peace with things. And Pisces, we have the Three of Scrolls. So Pisces, this may be a time where you're feeling quite emotional, a sense of loss, and that's okay. Uh, it's saying that you need to grieve those losses and really look to the past to reassess things um, and to see what you, lessons you can take moving forward. So that's what I'm seeing from the Chrysalis Terrace for Tarot for the week. Um, and then for the card of the week, I got this one, which is from the Sicoli Oracle. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Sicoli? Sicoli? I think that's it. Um, and so this one is, I definitely I like this. I love the heart. They're connected together. But it's about how friends can be even more, even closer to us than some of our family members sometimes. That we have soul sisters and brothers and that we need to connect with them. So if you haven't been connecting with them, take some time this week to connect with people. Um, we need our tribe around us. And you know, there are a couple of signs this week that said to rest, but this still doesn't mean you can't reach out to your friend and invite them over or talk to them on phone or text them or something. But we need to reach out to those people who very much share a heart with us and share, um, share common interests with us this week. So that's what I'm seeing for this week. Um, I know it's just like a quick read through. Um, if you are interested in what the astrology is for the week, I'm going to be uploading the SoundCloud shortly uh, for the week. Um, so you can listen to that. It's on my SoundCloud. Link is below. Um, also, you know, you can go to my blog as well if you want to see what kind of what's up been going on. And I always post um, a card of the day on my Instagram and Twitter. Um, so you can look at that as well if you want to see what the card for the day is, what the energy for the day is. Um, and if you want a reading, you can go to my Etsy shop. I do astrology, uh, birth charts, numerology charts, and tarot as well. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Anyway, thanks so much for following me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.